Be nice to get a snake, dude. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I see him. Yeah, you got this, dude. Oh, that's a pretty green rat. Wow, dude. Dude, that is pretty. Okay, that's scary when green rats are starting to appear. Well, it's because we never cruise this road at 6 a.m. It's true. I didn't know they were in Tucson, though. That's the weird part. The green that changes, the colors that change in this green rat, it's just hard to describe. You know, it's definitely an olive green, but wow. So we ended up seeing quite a few green rats this year, which was uh, quite the surprise for us, but you know, we'll take it. And we ended up hanging out with this guy, Ryan from uh, Silence Do Good. That was a pretty cool experience. How's it going? Good to meet you, brother. Good to meet you. Hey, good to meet you. Yeah, you too, man. So yeah, we spent at least two hours walking around in the hot Arizona sun and Silence was looking at us like, are you guys even herpers? But then, Nicholas comes through. I've seen this on TV a bunch. Take the bite. Nice. Whew. Right on, dude. Sweet. Oh, that's a pretty one too. Yeah. Get silence, do good, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice find, man. Take it. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Hanging out with silence. What's going on? <laughs> hey, by the way, where did you get your name? Silence, do good. Where did that? It's actually a long story. I need the silence, do good letters. Yeah, it's about the treasure. We were looking for other snakes, but found this guy instead because you know that's how it goes, man. When it's hot out. And we tamed him to sit like that. That's pretty amazing. That, that took less than five minutes. <laughs> are we just letting it go? I'm good if you guys are. Yeah. Sure. <sighs> yeah, something dangling in front of the camera. Amateurs, man, what are you going to do? So we've been walking for hours, hot, past the place where we should have turned to go back to the car. And all of a sudden, Nicholas looks over and goes, that's a speckled rattlesnake. Got a speckled rattlesnake that Nicholas saw. I didn't think they extended down in Tucson, but I think this is a range extension. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to check with the locals. But we were really surprised. Thought it was a tiger, right? Because of the tail. And then Nicholas is like, that's a speckle. So it was good hanging out with you, man. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah, finally good really? to meet you. And I will put a link to his channel down below. And uh, if you haven't checked out Silence Do Good, um, and we'll get the story some other time because you said that's that, like... That works. It's a, it's a little bit of a long story. It's a long story. story. It's a long story. It's a good one, though. You'll find out. We'll do like a, a hangout or something like that. Sounds like a plan to me. Hey, it was good herping with you, man. Hey, same. Safe That's travels? Awesome. Same, right. yeah. All right. A healer getting a drink tonight. So after hanging out with Silence, it was time to get back to my jam, which is hanging out at night and doing some night herping, because you never know what you can find when you're walking down a path at night. All right, so you tell me what you do when you're walking on a path and you come across the javelina. Okay, dude, we gotta go. So you're gonna have to go, because we gotta go. You feel me? Yep. Ooh, see him hearing the bees too. Nope. There he goes. Not up for bees and javelinas tonight. All right, came across a saddled leaf nose. This guy was sitting in this kind of a little goalie type thing. It is probably, I don't know, high 80s, maybe 90. Waiting for some storms to come through here, but saddled leaf, can't go wrong with these guys. See a lot of them, but you can hear the thunder in the background. We're gonna get our butts kicked. Have a good night. All right, you know the deal. Got gotta be herping at night. Can't go herping without finding a Gila. So let's see if we can see this guy. He is tucked back in a cave. There he is. Pretty. 
big guy actually. Wow, that's a big one. Cool. Yeah, that's cool, man. Don't want to bug him. That's awesome. Back he goes. Wow, that's crazy. So one of the things that we know that the start of the monsoon is when these guys come out, the Sonoran Desert Toads. And there's at least, I don't know, seven or eight in this little pond. That's it. Everybody's like, oh, it's 55 degree dew point and El Nino and all that stuff. It's not. It's when these guys show up. So what you're about to see next is probably the most dangerous thing about field herping. I, I speak from personal experience and others that have told me the same thing. Um, got a tiger, rattlesnake. These are one of the most venomous snakes in the world. Did you know that? Tigers? Oh, they are. Their venom is potent and they can inject a pretty good chunk of it. So you don't want to get too close. But again, you, you know, I've gone over this a gazillion times. Like I'm um, two feet away. It's just chilling. It's not rattling. It's not coiled up. The more dangerous thing is, is that. It's being in the middle of the road than this. Just so you know. So, anywho. So we should probably get it off. Do you want some pics? Or? I don't know. They're really skinny. What's man. cooler than that is those shorts, man. You get the problem. It's not the snake. It's that. Somebody's gonna come around that corner. Just for some context, we had driven on this road for about seven miles. We knew nobody was behind us. There's only one entrance onto that road. Hadn't seen anybody in hours, so I wouldn't be normally in the middle of the road like that. Uh, we'd get in and out, but I definitely will do a Topic Tuesday on safety and vehicles will be in it. And you'll, you'll see, I'll, I'll tell some stories. Um, vehicles are definitely, in my opinion, the most dangerous thing about field herping. All right, we just stopped for a snake. I'm pretty sure we know what it is. So we're out looking for these things tonight. We've already seen one. Sure enough, it's a dang sidewinder. Oh, you gotta like these snakes. Those little, people call them horns on their head, but they're not, they're scales. And you know, nobody knows why they're there. Different theories, you know, to keep the sand out of their eyes when they bury. Oh, I can't remember some of the other ones, but I don't think anybody really knows why those are there. So that's a chunky one, dude. You said there was nothing on this road. This is the second half? Yeah, I don't know. This is a pretty good road for sidewinders, it seems like. I didn't know that um, you could find these in Texas. It's cool. Range extension again. Wow, what a pretty black tail. Holy mackerel, that's pretty. Nice and gold here in Arizona. I like that. Wow. Just a pretty snake. Wow, he is, oh wow, there's a second one. What the heck? There's two black tails. Holy mackerel, there's a second one sitting right here on this rock. So male, female, I'm assuming. Wow. So that's two, two black tails, two for one. And I only paid for one tonight. No way. This is freaky, dude. So there's one black tail, the one I just saw, and then the second one is right here. Are you kidding me? Inconceivable! That is insane. Wow. Ran into this guy. How's it going, Bert? Pretty good. Right on, man, and you, uh, it's my turn. You took the night and the day and the night shift, and now I'm gonna take the night and day shift. We're gonna tag team this thing, right? Yeah. Right on. Funny and then, snakes don't exist. You win! It's a funny game, really funny. <laughs> they don't exist, right on. You confirmed it for me, man. <laughs> so the deal is, is that you just got back from somewhere really cool. We don't wanna spoil it, I don't think, right? No, so you're gonna come out with videos, though, right? Oh yeah. That's not gonna work because by the time I put this out, you'll have oh, already put... <laughs> Rat snakes. <laughs> Rattlesnakes. Yeah, good stuff, man. So be sure to check it out. And uh, yeah, it's going to be... Look at that sunset, dude. That's yeah, pretty out there. It's good. 
So you think I'm gonna be okay tonight? You're okay leaving me here by myself? Yeah, I think you'll be okay. <laughs> All right, dude. Yeah, you we'll won't find a vine, but. Yeah, 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 famous last words. I'll show him, okay. I'll show him. All right, man, just hanging out uh, with Burke. And here's the deal. A lot of people tell you how to vine, find vine snakes. They tell you, mm -hmm. you know, go here, do that. It's sunny, it's cloudy. Basically just go out any day as they're, but we, we come and, we come and help, we're here. We're literally, do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a service we provide. Yeah. We don't just tell you how to do it. <laughs> we come out with you and yes, that's, that's right. right, that's right. Hey man, it's good to see you. Yeah, you too. All right, and check out Ketch's channel, man.